War Diary, day 507 of Russia's war against Ukraine. Another Russian general is in trouble. This guy is called Selivestov, and he is, well, was fighting in the Bakhmut area, and he's been dismissed. Remember, a couple of days ago, the Russians dismissed General Popov too. Both of them, it seems, had the same grievances heard by Prigozhin which is that the Russian Ministry of Defence um, are not doing a proper job, they're not supplying the Russian army with enough artillery and good soldiers are dying. Now, you know, the context remains, Russia shouldn't have invaded Ukraine. But what's fascinating is that insubordination and trouble is becoming a thing at the very top of the Russian army at exactly when the Ukrainian counter-offensive appears to be biting. So what's happening is, is not that there isn't a, a war of movement, it's not moving fast or anything like it. It's very slow, grinding slow. But the word from the front line seems to be that the Ukrainians are creating a meat grinder and the Russians really don't like it. And what the generals are doing are saying, the good ones are saying to their bosses, listen, this isn't working. We need more help. We need more artillery. Why aren't you doing something about it? And instead of dealing with their fundamental concerns, these guys are being sacked. So this tells you that this is a military that actually is in trouble and that the Kremlin has a great problem in that it either wants loyalty or it wants effectiveness. And what it's doing is it's firing its effective commanders because they're saying the wrong kind of stuff. Once again, Vladimir Putin is a fragile monster. Vladimir Putin, do fuck off. <laughs>